What's up, y'all? We've got a lot of hoses on the ground today. So we're pumping this tank out for an inspection, which is what you should always do if you're purchasing a property that is on a septic tank. You wanna make sure you get inspected properly, which means have the tank dug up, get a look at the inside, how is it holding up? Most of these tanks are concrete, some are plastic. Unfortunately, some are fiberglass. I hate fiberglass tanks. Those get really brittle, and over time, they start to collapse. But right here, we got two concrete tanks in a line together. Most modern tanks, it'll just be one big tank. And to kind of mimic the two tank, they'll have a wall in between or a baffle. And what that's for is to keep the solids on this end. Goes through this PVC pipe and this should be mostly effluent or dirty water. So, I'm gonna dig this up. Doesn't look like it's too deep. Here's the clean out. Got a four inch clean out, I like to see it. So we'll start pumping it down and get this thing inspected, see what it's like on the inside and make sure there's no cracks. Make sure the drain fill is working as it should. <sighs> and just the uh, overall well-being of the septic tank. Super important. You don't want to buy a house, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then in the middle of the night, septic tank starts backing up on you. Realize you didn't get it inspected and come to find out you're going to need a whole new tank or a really expensive repair. So don't want that to happen to y'all. Make sure you get the septic tank inspected. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, Lord. Time to go fishing. So if you're looking at the tank, you've got the inlet to my left and got the outlet to my right. Now generally, if we're looking at a rectangle, the inlet is going to be within a foot of that first edge of the tank and the outlet should be about the same on the outlet side of the tank. So when I start digging, I usually dig just a tad away from the edge of the tank and the lid should be right there and if I don't I at least know the edge is to my left so the lid has to be further out so that saves you a lot of time and guesswork trying to find these lids so I'm gonna start with the inlet side right here Now you can see where I'm digging. Here's where I saw the edge of the tank. Just moved the tad forward and here's the lid. Start. I start digging until I find a seam like this. And then just by looking at this, I can tell it's gonna be a square lid. So I'll just outline this a little further out. Handle's right here, so that's gonna be in the middle. So you kind of get an idea of where I still need to dig. And then the outlet side. If it's set up the same as this, be the exact same way. So just some things to help save digging. If you walk, just say you're a homeowner looking for your lids, you don't want to dig right in the middle because you're just going to hit tank. And you don't want to dig to the corner because you're not going to find anything but tank. So look in these spots where the lids generally are. It'll save you a lot of time and frustration. So I'm going to keep digging that and then pop it open. So we got the lid popped. Let's go ahead and pull it off with our hook. So this first part coming into the tank is what we call an inlet baffle. The reason you put these in is that way whenever water enters the tank it comes 
in between the floating layer and the layer at the bottom. Now generally when these plug up, you're way overdue for septic pumping. So you can see we've got pretty decent crust on the top. And we've even got some little bugs in there if you want to zoom in. But uh, anytime I see bugs of some sort inside the tank, I know it's working well. So we got that one popped open. The other one should be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start digging on that one. Got the outlet side exposed right here inlet over there so now we gotta pry this one up i usually use rock bar and my hook give it a few taps with the rock bar loosen things up i don't want to keep bending over so I'll use my hook pull the lid off Finally got the outlet side popped off. So both of the lids, it's usually the outlet side that wants to put up a fight, but we got it off without doing too much harm to the lid. Whew. Looks like it's draining the way it should. It's not incredibly thick on this side. You can see it coming in through the inlet. So go ahead and get started pumping her down. Take a look behind me got the septic tank got the inlet side got the outlet side both pumped down took pictures of the inside the walls look like they're in good condition the baffles both the inlet the outlet and the baffles in between the tanks look like they're in good shape too and then we had it uh flowing everything flowed out the way it should good sign so whoever buys this property i, th I think it actually just sold they're going to move into a house fresh septic tank so they'll want to keep up with maintenance generally pumping it out between two to five years just depends on how big the household size is and what they're flushing down um, if they're really cautious it could go a lot longer 
if they're just flushing whatever down the toilets they'll be uh looking to get it pumped sooner because it'll probably start backing up or uh gurgling that's usually the first sign it's about to start backing up so got everything right here gonna go ahead and cover these lids up this one's a little deeper so i'll probably recommend risers on both of them always recommend risers as is that way you don't have to dig up the yard every time and then um yeah cover everything up put up all my stuff and move on to the next one so if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button subscribe drop a comment down below and see you next time thanks for watching